out there. T uh, yesterday was the day I had uh, my hiatal hernia repair and my TIF in the hospital. Can't tell. Um, I got had surgery about uh, uh, three o'clock. It's been about five thirty p.m. and then right now it's on the on July twentieth, two thousand twenty one. And today is uh, July 21st, 2021, Wednesday. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Um, the surgery went well. I have three holes in my stomach I might show you in another video, maybe. Um, but they went in laparoscopically with a scope, pulled my stomach back down, put one stitch there. You didn't need to use mesh from what I understand, but they were talking about if it was they forget the complications or you know reasons they would use a mesh but I guess my hernia maybe had shrunk from all the um, pushing and massaging that I had done but um, I guess it only took one stitch and uh, now my now I don't have a hernia and the other doctor went down the throat and did the tiff um, he put the machine down I guess and something wasn't working exactly right so he had to pull it out and put it back down um, so my, my throat's pretty sore um, um, you know, they talk about gas pain uh, in the sh left shoulder. I haven't really had a ton of that. I think some of the issues I have are from my musculoskeletal disorders. I have a thoracic outlet syndrome, so I think I'm, this pillow is not very good. The bed is nice, but you know, it's just I can't sleep. It's hard for sleep, me to sleep in the hospital, so I've, I didn't sleep very much. Um, but um, I feel pretty good. Um, I haven't even had to have a strong 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 painkiller I got Tylenols and other stuff I don't even know but it's not like Percocet or uh, whatever those other ones are that would really like wipe you out um, I haven't had those so the pain's not been very bad um, but um, now I'm just uh, recovering uh, waiting to go home I still it's 8.30 I would imagine maybe after lunch sometime I don't know I'm anxious to go home, but you know, I'm just gonna lay at home too. But anyway, um, so everything went well. Um, now it's just a, in, in terms of the tip, it's the diet, like I mentioned before in videos. Now I'm liquid diet for the first three days, and then get to start having some mashed stuff later. Right now, they brought me, um, I have some uh, pudding and potato soup, which is pretty good. I think there's some juice, but um, I don't know what that there there is over there. But I'm not gonna be able to eat much. I mean, they tell you, you know, in the diet guide that uh, uh, maybe your doctor would be different. But um, you're gonna eat have to eat really slow, drink really slow, you know, and chew for 30 seconds. I'm not chewing anything anyway; it's liquid. But when I do eat um, in the future, um, and then just work it slow so I can see how you know I'm gonna lose weight because um, it's just hard to. You don't eat like you won't eat like you normally will. Um, if you know I'm hungry, I'm just not in the mood. But I'm, and also I know I can't eat that much, so um, I'm gonna fill up quick. But um, so it's day one, um, and here's the update. Uh, so um, I ordered the, the lunch uh, for similar soft food stuff or liquid stuff essentially. Um, but the, that uh, is about it. Um, they uh, have the uh, devices on my legs that blow up like a balloon kind of a thing and uh, help with blood clotting. I've had those on for a while. It's hard to kind of sleep with those. Some people apparently love them, but you know it's inflating and getting left leg, then right leg, left leg, right leg, left, right, left, right, left, right, and it just constantly goes, um, which, you know, kind of annoying, but it is what it is. You need them, I guess, so. Um, but my pain level is not really bad. In the suture in the scope, scope site, um, I don't even really feel pain where the hernia is, was. However, um, it's uh, um, you know maybe it'll be coming. I don't know, um, but uh, right now I feel pretty good. Um, just gotten up a couple times to go to the bathroom. First time I got dizzy and nauseous, um, but I think that's more of um, you know just you, that's what happens when you've had surgery, but then. Um, you know, I uh, got up this time and I was just able to focus on, focus on like a doorknob or something that you just focus on it the whole way there. And if you lose that, focus on something else and just stare at that and don't look at anything else. 
um, that, that helped me. Um, so, um, what else? Uh, so yeah, diet, uh, I've been eating a little bit. I'm gonna keep eating just to give a little bit of a break. Um, rest between bites, taking a little tiny, tiny, tiny bites kind of a thing. Um, I know I'm supposed to baby it and how well my TIF works will depend on how well I follow the diet plan and they're relying on my scar tissue to kind of just form and hold the valve like it's supposed to. So um, hopefully that's going to work. I want to follow everything I have to follow because I don't want to do this again if I don't have to, but um, we'll see in a couple days how I feel. Like, oh, that wasn't that bad, but um, right now it's just, um, it's not horrible. I would, if I had to do it again, I guess I would, but um, again, why? follow the diet, do what you're supposed to, and you'll be fine, so, um, but yeah, day one, keep you posted on other stuff, as I, um, continue to progress through, and, uh, I'll try to record as many videos as I can, so you have an accurate, uh, um, somebody that's gone through this TIF and hiatal hernia repair, um, and what, what, what I went through, and, um, also just to, for my family, if they want to know, find it on YouTube, um, and see, um, trying to think of anything else, so my neck hurts just because of the pillows and stuff like that, but, um, again, when I may be, may be able to stand up and whatnot, have clothes on, I'll show you the suture sites maybe tomorrow, but right now I might, uh, you know, expose an area that's not appropriate for YouTube, so, uh, I'm not going to do that in the slightest, um, but, you know, it's interesting how, where they put the, the scope and, um, how they went in there and did that. So for me, given the fact that I had a hiatal hernia repair and a TIF with two different surgeons, so it was a kind of a hybrid, of unique procedure it sounds like, but it sounds like it went really well. So um, I'm happy. Now it's just a matter of um, being patient and waiting and um, hopefully my symptoms go away. Um, my throat still hurts and kind of get weird fillings in my throat in, in this area about my clavicles and stuff like that. Um, so if they're still there for now, but it's just a sore throat, um, from, you know, the tube and stuff that they had to do down there and then a lack of water, lack of anything that I've eaten and drank. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm optimistic. Um, I think they said, they said it went well. So now I just have to see, um, if this works and then, you know, in, uh, 41 days I can kind of go back to normal eating, if not sooner and lifting and stuff like that. So, um, it was a process. Um, I haven't really had a ton of pain, like I said, um, even when I got out um, of surgery. It never went over a, I'd say like a four or five maybe. I can't remember. And you know, when you come out of surgery, it's tough to remember everything you said and did and what they asked you. So, um, but uh, now it's just the, the diet. Um, and um, they finally, I asked for some food because I was hungry. But I'm not going to eat too much more, but uh, just trying to fill up and get some calories, but not going to get very many. So um, thanks for watching. I'll keep posting. Have a good one, everyone.